Hey, what's up, my little title tells? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Khloe Kardashian, listen, I guess she has upgraded all that praying work. Chloe is finally leveled up from stealing other women's men to now you going after your sister's man. And listen, you know Christian is always going to cheerlead a di dysfunctional relationship. Y'all, what am I talking about? The new episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians is up. I promise I'll have the recap up. But look at the old recaps. But I promise I'll have it up by Friday morning. I promise. I promise. You have my word. You know me. Listen, don't doubt. Listen. Anyway, um... Kris Jenner also says that she thinks it's so cutie patootie that Scott has a crush on Chloe. He says that he wants to hit it by the time he's 40, right? Whether she's in a relationship or not. And that uh, she thinks it's so cute that he has a crush on Chloe. Now, before y'all say, ooh, yes, is anybody really like surprised about this? Let's be real. Is anybody surprised about this? Because I do remember when Rob Kardashian Jr. Chris thought it was so cute that Rob had a crush on Kim. Chris Jenner thought it was cute that Rob had a crush on his sister. She went out of her way to encourage it. At least it looked like on TV. To the point that there was one episode, it's in one of my old videos on the Khloe Kardashian uh, playlist, where Khloe Rob was bragging that there was a Kim Kardashian lookalike contest and the girl looked just like Kim. And Rob was bragging that the that after that contest, he took that girl home and they was doing the do. And he was describing how he let he was doing left, right, up, down, ceiling walls from the windows to the walls to the sweat. To Listen, they was going in it. Chloe looked so jealous and then said, Well, would you sleep? Remember, they used to talk with those baby voices. Well, would you sleep with a Chloe Kardashian look alike? Would you? And Rob started blushing. He was like, What are you talking about? Yo, I see why Rob got so many issues. Chris. Her, it, her feelings about um, uh, 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 sesty relationships, uh, it's a little weird. It, it, it always struck me as a little weird. However, we all know that Chloe and Scott always had a weird relationship too. I'm even gonna think that the Kardashians just pass men around, like keep it in the family. If somebody's a good catch, this and that, Chris taught them to keep it in the family. Listen. Let's also not forget that episode when Rob Jr. was sucking on Chris's teetily weeks, her toes. Yes, yes, there was a whole episode. If you don't believe me, Google it. Anyway, let's get into this. Let me pull up this article. Okay, I found it. Scott Disick says Khloe Kardashian has all the characteristics of this perfect girl. Kardashian's fans have always thought something is interesting going on between Kourtney Kardashian and Scott. Okay, I'll give you some tea if I haven't already told you about what happened in Scott's rehab in Montauk and what he said he did, I mean, his rehab and what he said he did to Chloe in Montauk, right? They said their friendship has withstood the test of time, breakups, drama, and they've always been there for each other. People even hope one day they'd end up together. People hope, hope that Chloe would end up with the father of her nieces. And you know what, at this point, Chloe, and, and and somehow she'll find a way to get dogged out by Scott. Well, it could definitely be awkward dating your sister's ex, especially when they share kids. Chloe, uh, the Kardashians have done weirder things. So a new clip for, for Scott basically calling Chloe his dream girl has fans going crazy. E! News shared an exclusive first look at the October 19th episode. I'm going to review that, keeping up with the Kardashians or Kardashians on Hulu, where Chris gets, gets insight into his life. After Scott said he gets lonely all the time, he says, I can't live with just having my kids, right? And Chris is like, so where do you go to meet women? And Scott's like, strip clubs, right? She went on to ask him to describe what his perfect girl would be like on paper. He quickly turned to Chloe and asked, how tall are you? Chloe couldn't help but giggle and gush, this guy. The funny thing is Chloe's always been the ugly duckling and in a weird way, Scott is always giving her 
like compliments online, but like sexualized compliments. And I noticed even on Chloe's birthday, there's a lot of people that's always like, happy birthday, girl, just, oh my God, you're so hot. So I was like, she's the ugly duckling. She needs to get the validation. But how weird is it that you know that you are literally taking sexual attention and flirting from a man that dogged your sister out and got three kids with the sister and the sister doesn't want around? Chloe, mm, she, again, she for the streets, in my opinion. Scott continued. She's funny, she's kind, she's sweet, she's cute. You know, Chloe was like, didn't it make beautiful? She's got all the characteristics I want. That's what I'm saying, he added, which made uh, Chloe give him a big hug. The fact that Chris raises her girls, that your sisters used to be partner, definitely nemesis, is giving you all these flirty sexual things and you give him a hug. But then again, she did stoke that thing when her when she was asking, remember she was asking Rob, saying, Lamar says I'm gonna be like Cleopatra, that I'm gonna marry my brother. Would you marry me? And then she asked him and, and what's his name? Rob was like, come on, man, get out of here. And Chloe was like, well, would you F me? Would you F me? I'm just saying it's on there anyway. Um, Chris says, I think Scott probably has a crush on Chloe. This is so disrespectful to Courtney. Listen, I have a crush on Chloe. Everyone has a crush on Chloe. The cameramen all have a crush on Chloe. And we could just find somebody who comes close. We we know what he's looking for. Um, who has a crush on Chloe? And if they do, she's stuck on Dum Dum. If this many people had a crush on Chloe, Chloe wouldn't be with Dum Dum Tristan, okay? Scott, who shares three kids, of course, you know, Mason, Penelope, and Rain with Courtney have been in a weird place after his August 22nd car accident that left him with back pain. As noted by producers, he said that since then, everything has changed in my life. I haven't been able to run around. I've gained weight. That's because you also went into rehab after that accident, if I'm not mistaken, right? Um, at least that's what the street, uh, streets are saying. He noted this affected his S life. Now I can't move, so I'm terrible. Scott, you really think those 18 and 19 year olds you were literally, literally chasing at the Abbey and the nice guy, you really think those 18 and 19 year olds were with you because of your dazzling personality? They just wanted some of that money because Scott is like Thanos out in those hidden hills collecting real estate properties. Scott is financially secure, but you really expect me to believe that those girls were doing, were, were with you because you were making them Shut up, Scott. Maybe their ego, Scott's tripping. No, I can't move. The, the girls are probably so happy. They can stop faking and hiding your Viagra and y'all can just sit there and drink hot cocoa and go to sleep. Anyway, uh, Coco said this is the unhealthiest she'd ever see him, vowing to help motivate him to start physical therapy. Isn't that also crazy in the Kardashian world that somebody sees you, um, basically gaining the weight you should have had when you were replacing calories with like other substances and they say this is the most unhealthy right anyway penelope chimed in and said she, he wants scott to date an older woman and when he says late 20s she says ew 20s even penelope knows that scott be dating like like people that's 10 years like anyway as for p's list of requirements she says she wants a person to have a good personality and they can be pretty, and that women should go to the gym so to motivate Scott to do the same. <laughs> I guess Penelope's calling him fat too. Chris and Chloe have had some fun with matchmaking, ba da ba da ba da ba. Um, let's see. And let's not also forget that Scott said that if him and Chloe, right, of uh, uh, doing, then Scott said, obviously, I'd never look at Chloe sexually admitting that he likes to joke about their potential romance with a good American founder. Again, the Kardashians are too work with me. So Scott literally said that if Chloe's single, and no, if he's single at 40 years old, then he is going to want to bang Chloe down. This is all I want to say. How pathetic is it that even Chloe was somebody literally gassing her up because Scott probably knows this gets under Courtney's skin on a certain level, right? Um, even then, he still don't want you. You still the last type of, uh, last slice of pizza from a frat party from a week ago found underneath the couch. 
even in his fantasy, he's like, if there's nobody else around and nobody else I want, then yes, let's give it a go. Y'all listen. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.